Hello and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage. So in this video today I'm carrying on with my interior updates and the part I'm fitting today is a part that has been aftermarket designed and made specifically for the Defender. So this part I'm going to show you right now in this box and it is a brand new door card from Powerful UK and I wasn't really sure about changing the door cards in mind, but what I noticed is when I took my door cards off to be able to fit the optimal gear, so the new exterior door handles I put on here, one of the things I really struggled with was getting them back on. They just looked a bit tired, didn't really suit the rest of the interior upgrades that I'm planning on doing. So I bought these new door cards from Powerful, and I'm really excited to see how different they're going to make the car. They've got a few features that massively improve them over the old Defender door card. So in this video, I'm going to be fitting these. I've also got another few parts as well I'm fitting today to the inside of the door card that we're showing you today, some nice new shiny bits. Although someone here on YouTube called my Defender a Tarts Palace. Um, I do love the shiny bits inside. So I'm going to be fitting all those bits today. And I've also designed a special tool myself that is right here, which I'll be showing you as well, which really helps sort these out. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and let's get going. my old TD5 door card and this is a standard factory one and as you can see it's definitely seen better days the plastic's kind of a bit cracked but the worst bit for these is the back so as you can see original part but one of the things you see on here is these clips these clips are some of the worst things ever invented and they just don't work very well as you can see I've taken this card off you can see half of them have snapped half of them have stayed on they're just awful when you take them out it's very hard to take these door cards off and not um, cause damage. You can see someone's glued this on here when they've taken the card off previously. They're just made basically to be left on. As soon as you try and take them off for sound deadening or to put the exterior door handles on, which is what I've done on my Defender, they fall apart. And to be honest, the design of them is okay. There's a few things I'd like to be different with this. Firstly, the tops, as you know, the Defender, most of the time you spend with your arm out the window. And these aren't very good tops. They haven't got very much for sill on top. These new ones I've got definitely have. And just the whole design of them really generally, um, the newer ones I'm looking at actually have a much better design. There's a few more elements or key features on it that you can put like a cargo net in. You can get a reflector on for when the doors open. So a few more design elements that I quite like compared to the old style door cards that I've got here. The new, and you can see already, the design of this one, it just looks a little bit better to be fair. Um, the old one's much flatter. This one has all these kind of moldy elements in it. It's even got a space for a tweeter, so a tweeter speaker. I don't have an upgraded sound system in my Defender, but this definitely is quite cool. If you do, it makes the car a lot more contemporary, I guess. The other thing I quite like is like the exposed fittings. And for me, the biggest benefit of this, having taken that door card off, is the way this fits. It doesn't use those old clips, it uses riv nuts, and that makes it so much better to put on and also to take off if I ever need to do that in the future. But comparatively, you can see these are exactly the same door cards where the handle would go, the two little screw holes there, the window winder, and then the door opening mechanism, of which I'm also changing today. So getting a new upgraded door opening mechanism on the inside too, just to kind of freshen things up. One of the other elements that Powerful UK have cleverly put on is this little reflector space here. So when your door is wide open on the road, you get a bit of a reflector there for a bit of safety. I don't have the reflector. I didn't buy that, but I might be doing that in the future. So that is the new versus old door cards and some of the differences you can see between them. Take a look at the inside of my door. So I've sound deadened the bottom. I put silent coat and then dodo matting over the top. So that's nicely sound deadened. We've also got the exterior door handle that I've changed on my car for the Optima one which you can see right there. So this is what the door looks like without anything on. It's previously been glued with that foam inner that they had on before. I've sound deadened out, so I don't feel like I need to put that back on. But a couple of things that we're doing on this video today, I'm gonna to be changing this for a slightly more updated and just much nicer billet aluminium Optima one. I've also got a new interior door handle to go on my Defender. So a whole overhaul ready for the door. This is where those clips would go into. And this is the best bit about the powerful kit is actually we're gonna be replacing these and putting riv nuts in my door today. So putting them in as almost plugs and then be able to put the bolts straight through. So that is gonna result in a much better fitting and one that I can reverse at any time if I need to. Things I don't have at the moment, I don't have 
the aluminium locking pin, very small extra, but this one's plastic. I know you can get them from Optimil and I'm a bit obsessed now with everything being aluminium, but that needs to be changed at some point, potentially. You can see my new mechanism in there. If you haven't seen the other video of me fitting that, it's here on the channel. So let's get going with taking all of these old plastic insertion points out and start putting in those rivet nuts. Little trick, I've made a little tool for the rivet nuts themselves to help me put them in, which I've kind of made from a DIY store. I'll show you that in this video too, if you want to do this yourself. It's probably not the right way, but I found the easiest way to get these out is simply drill them out and go into the door itself. Like that, you just gotta be careful because the glass is just behind there and it's very easy to go straight through your glass window with your drills. But this is what the, the holes look like when they're out. You need to make them a little bit bigger for the rivet nuts. I would definitely recommend making them not too much bigger. You want it to be a really tight fit here for your rivet nuts. It makes the whole job much easier if it is tight. What you're going to be using today are pretty much every single one that was on the old fitting. So take all of these plastic plugs out throughout your door, across the bottom, up the sides. The reason I sound like I know what I'm doing a little bit more today is because I've actually done the other door before doing this video to make it a little bit slicker. Old plugs are out, you can see across the bottom as well, and this is where we're gonna be drilling. You do need a nine millimeter drill bit for this. That's what Powerful UK say on their video, and I agree. I've got an 8.5 that I'm using and then just sort of making it a little bit bigger just because I think then if I can hammer the rivet nuts in, it'll make for a better finish. So this is what you get with the kit. You get a bag of basically furniture bolts, some little um, sort of uh, extenders, I guess, and some threaded bars as well, which I'll show you how to use them but this is what you're gonna be using to fix the door cards onto your door. Now these are the rivet nuts you're gonna be using and I did actually buy a tool from Powerful UK to put these rivet nuts in. It's kind of a bit of a DIY tool. Unfortunately, I ended up snapping it in half with my impact drill. And so I've made my own with a few of the parts from that. So this is what it looks like. This is my homemade rivet nut tool. So basically it's a bolt, as you can see, through the middle of two large washers and then this piece in the middle which essentially you can use anything like an oversized nut to do that it just needs to be something loose that will sit between the two washers themselves so that one that one and then what you need to do is thread that rivet nut onto the end like that so the rivet nut's on there you put this in your door i am using an impact drill impact wrench again on the head of these and then getting a pair of them um, kind of like a retracted an adjustable wrench to hold this while I then drill it in. And what happens is this thread pulls out of the rivet nut, almost like a normal rivet. And what happens is you get a bit of a bulge in that steel. And as a result, what happens is then the rivet nut stays in the car door. So using this little mechanism has really helped me do it. You can do it with spanners, but it's really, really difficult to get enough tension to actually get that rivet nut to stick into the door. So this is the first hole we've drilled. We've made it a little bit bigger. We get the rivet nut, it'll go straight into there like that get my impact on the end and then just hammering it in basically. So that is all the rivet nuts into the holes they need to be in. Right down to the bottom, one here across the top. So that's all sorted and again on the bottom and up the sides here. I've got them all in place now using my little tool. So this is one of the new parts that we're putting on my door. This is a brand new interior door handle from Optimil and this has got the aluminium black handle and then i'm going to get the silver outer case but i haven't got that yet so i'm putting back my plastic one so this is one of the pieces i'm going to put on and the other is the um, aluminium handle for the inside which i think will look really good with my pedals and the vent knobs i've got as well on uh, on my car at the moment so i'm going to be putting this on now I've got to work out how it's going to go on onto one of the sort of lever the control rods that i'm going to put it on so that's what we're going to do next for itself this is the little hook here so this is the control lever that when you pull it it pulls the door mechanism so that's what you've got to try and hook in to the back of the mechanism just there it's quite difficult to do and sometimes the one on the other side what i did was actually bend that a bit just to be able to get it in so i've fixed that now that works perfectly so anyway these are the next bits so where these little um rivet nuts are we've got to put the threaded bars in we want to get them to look like that and that's because with the new door cards it needs to push this far out before screwing them in so it gives you a bit of an armrest at the top doing this job one of the things i highly recommend is some thread locker it's what powerful recommend as well and i'm going to be using that on these threaded bars and here but also use it on some of the other areas as well it's really useful stuff for this job on the top of that we're getting this little threaded bit and putting that over the top on there 
what you look like. You've got these two on here and the last one there. So do the ribbon up for that. But this is what they look like. You don't actually need one in here. This is where the sort of hole for the tweeter would go. So I've put that in accidentally. Don't do what I've done. Just put the three going back and miss the first one. So this is what they look like. And these little bars and help the new door card to stand off the door a little bit more. So I've just sprayed the door handle bits and also where the locking key goes. Now use this stuff. PIO HD by Buzzweld. Kind of like a plastic spray and I always find it just refreshes bits. That's still drying, but it just refreshes it, gives plastics a new lease of life. So that's what I've used for this. I do need to get some actual proper surrounds, some probably aluminium ones, but for now these look quite good sprayed at the moment. So on top of that, interior door handle, this is what I'm going to be adding on the interior of mine, which will go right on there on the door card. And when you are using the new optimal interior handles and you haven't got a new casing, you might need to cut things back like I have done here. Just when that goes in, it fits perfectly. Uh, and I've just kind of cut that until I get a new one. Anyway, let me show you on the other side what it looks like when it's complete. Take a look at the door card on this side. So, new door card. I'm really pleased with how it looks. I really like the exposed bolts that you've got on here. And just overall, it looks so much fresher than it did before. Kind of suits the rest of my interior that we're slowly getting there with. So, you can see things like I've got my new bit of aluminium handle, which I really like. It's quite a nice kind of handle again. I've been driving around with no door cards on for so long. Got the new Optimil door pull here and you can see i have cut the old door card there i'm going to get a new optimal one to kind of fit in there which will work a lot better overall just really pleased with how it works and some of the features i particularly like about it is the fact you've actually got a bit of a windowsill now so when you get in the car and shut it it feels so much better because you've actually got somewhere you can put your elbow which if anyone drives a defender here will know is a great thing to be able to have that comfort to be able to put your elbow on somewhere so feels just so much fresher inside the car when you're in it and just looks a lot better too so much fresher than it did before and i really like it when there's new parts that are designed for the defender it's just an upgrade really to what the old one used to be like and powerful uk have done a brilliant job of this one here if you found that video interesting about fitting this new part to my defender i've got so much more to come for the interior and exterior i've even got some of the parts i just haven't got around yet to fitting so stay tuned to channel subscribe like this video and let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video